Hi everyone, welcome to Hooking with Leanna. In this video, I am going to show you how to change colors on your diamond paint. But some of my squares look like they're not together. Okay, so as you can tell, I have done all the orange and I have orange in my tray. So, to change this, I would have to... up my thing and dump my orange ones into their container which I bought at the Dollar Tree it's a seven day pill organizer and it comes in handy it works then I take it put it back together sorry for the video to keep moving Take the top off my black container, pour some of them in here, like so. Now I have my color that I need in my tray, and I would have to pick up the black. Pick up your color and stick it in the box on your thing, your graph. This row I have to do 12. Of the black gems. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now that row of black is finished. Now, for the next row of black, because I'm doing two rows at the same time, I would need to do 14. So, one, two, three, four, five. Tighten that up because. Some of the blacks are not uniform because they are the most used color, and I guess it is harder to cut them. It's seven, as you can tell, the sometimes leave gaps in your work. You just have to squeeze it together and fix it. Eight. Nine. My hands shake a lot as I do this. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Now I just gotta fill in the rest of this with orange, and as you can see, the butterfly wings are starting to take shape. I kind of like using the single end; it goes a lot faster for me for some reason. Because this end, my gems always get stuck for some reason. I can't get them out. All right? Thank you for watching.